112, can you hear me now guys? Is that any better? I don't know why that's turned off, that was weird. You should be able to hear me now. 112, wait for it. 112, can't hear myself on the own broadcast yet. Oh, one second, it would help if I switched it on. Hello? Can you hear me now? You can hear me now, it's not too loud, is it? Here we go. Right, I'm going to have to, <laughs> you can all hear me now. That was weird, there was an update, so I don't know if that's triggered the sound for some reason and turned it off. Maybe it's just because I've not used it for a while. Uh, right, so I'll explain to everything I <laughs> said at the beginning. So welcome to the quiz, everyone. I don't know if there's going to be a quiz, but there won't be a quiz on Monday, but there will be one next week at some point. Uh, so without further ado then, guys, even though I've been talking to myself for the last five minutes and... It's perfect. Okay, so we're going to make a start for the quiz, guys. Welcome in, everyone. As I say, the reason for the Friday quiz is because I went to a funeral on Monday, and it's just been a busy week. Lots of things happening, as you're aware. So let's make a start on the quiz. So, again, it is designed for replay viewers anyway. You can comment in the chat as normal, your answers, but I won't see them until the end. We're going to start off with five anagrams, and then we're going to do 15 space questions okay so if you want to write them down on a piece of paper that's up to you or you can put them in the comments so i'm going to give you two minutes on each anagram i said i would change it to one minute but i think two minutes is fine so here we go then your first anagram and i should say they're all food related all food related here we go your first anagram here we go Patriot Tango. Patriot Tango. I'm looking for a food item. Okay. Looking for a food item. If you get it correct, you get 10 points. So what I was saying earlier was, let me know what you're drinking. I've got a nice cup of tea here. If you've got wine, beer, tea, coffee. No sound again. Can you all hear me okay still? Is it just Melanie? Can all still hear me? Put a three in the chat if you can hear me. Now Dina can hear me. Turn your volume up, Melanie. Someone can put in the comments. Turn your volume up, Melanie. Okay, you've got 40 seconds, so we're looking for a food item. So they're all food items. When I couldn't hear myself, I had to press the play button on the on Twitch because it paused. <laughs> okay, you got 15 seconds. Don't worry if you don't get it straight away. You can write them down, which could give you more time. Okay, five seconds. Okay, out of time, guys. Out of time. Does anyone have a quick guess? 30 seconds to have a quick guess. Patriot Tango. It's a food item. It's going to give you another 30 seconds. Melanie, can you hear me? Put Melanie, come out and back in. Because that could have affected it as well. Any guesses? Last 10 seconds. Okay, the answer then is potato gratin. Potato gratin. Right, here we go. Here's your next one. Number two. Bard host. Bard host. Your two minutes starting now.
So in a way, doing these anagrams at the beginning, I know it's, I know they're fun. Not everybody likes them, but we do them so as people can join the broadcast and then they're ready for the quiz, just in case things go wrong. <laughs> So Bard Host. Again, it's another food item. I'm going to give you a clue with this one. Think of Scotland. Think of Scotland. Melanie, can you hear me now? Okay, you've just got under a minute to go. It's worth 10 points. Okay, Melanie can hear us, that's good. So these are all food items. The first one was potato gratin. Got 10 seconds left. Have you got it? Think of Scotland. And out of time, guys. Did you get it? If you said if you said shortbread, you give yourself 10 points. Well done. Okay, we're going to move on to number three. Your word is dire acorn. Dire acorn. Two minutes starting now. Again, it's another food item. Good luck, everyone. I'll give you another clue with this one. It's not really a food item, but it's something that you would use in your food. If I give you any more clues, then you'll get it straight away. So, <clears throat> some not really a food item, but something that you would add to your food. Dire acorn. Look at the second word a bit more closely and you might get it. So you just got on just over thirty seconds left. <coughs> Excuse me. So it was quite funny today. I went for a Costa, which is the Costa coffee place, and I got my got some cake because I had a cake thing to use. And um, I went to go bite into the cake. You might have seen it on TikTok. And as I bit into the cake, <laughs> went for a spoonful, and uh, there was a, a woman breastfeeding directly in front of me, and I dropped my cake on the floor. <laughs> So, yeah, I wasn't expecting to see that, but as I was just sat down to eat into my cake. So, not, not a bad thing, you know, I'm all for, I'm all for, you know, anyone having to do that, it's totally fine. I just wasn't expecting to see it. Right then, did anyone get this one? The answer was, I said I'll give you a clue with the second word, the word dire a core, core, it was coriander. Well then, if you got coriander, are we all still there, guys? Put a two in the comments if you can hear me. We'll do a lag test. Right then, next let next word. Your word is Deborah. Your word is Deborah. Two minutes starting now. Again, another food item. I think it's quite easy this one. You might not need the full two minutes.
I think it's quite easy this one. Worth 10 points. Oh, it's quite a bit of a lag. Oh, hoping it's not more than 30 seconds. I don't like the ones where they're over 30 seconds. Okay, it's not too bad the lag. I think Melanie's, Melanie's was pretty quick. Mike's pretty quick with that one as well. So I don't think the lag, lag's too bad. Okay, I'm just going to give it another 30 seconds. I think most of you got that one. It's a little bit too easy, a little bit easier that one. Well done if you got it, give yourself 10 points. So, well done. Well done, guys. So, yeah, you're saying it in the comments. The answer is, of course, bread. Okay, your last one then for tonight. Here we go. Is Dean's Kebab. Dean's Kebab. Your two minutes starting now. Again, it's a food item, and it's worth 10 points. Would you like a clue? <clears throat> Let me just say, you might have this on toast. You might have this on toast. Good luck, everyone. If you get it right, give yourself 10 points. Have you got it watching on the replay? And if you are watching this on the replay, do do message me. Let me know you're watching this on the replay. It's nice to always know people are watching on, on the background. Actually saying that, I won't be able to come on next Friday because I won't be at home on next Friday. I'm going to the coast, although I will be live next next week, of course. We might do a sunset broadcast by the beach next Friday. So you've just gone to 20 seconds left. I think most of you got it. So I'll cancel that. Well done if you got it right. Well done, Melanie. I don't usually say well done for on, on the anagrams, but well done, Melanie. You got it right. The answer is baked beans. Right then. So we're going to add your scores up out of 50. And let me know. You've got 10 points for each correct answer there. So well done. And then you add them to your quiz at the end. Okay. Here we go then, this is your quiz for this Friday evening. You're going to get one minute between each question. I won't be able to see the answers because I'm going through the, the questions. Uh, so you're going to get one minute between each question and then I'll reveal all the answers at the end. Okay, so we're gonna, tonight's quiz is all about space. And this was a requested quiz. Um, so if you've got any suggestions of a quiz you would like, this was requested by Mike. So thank you for the suggestion, Mike. If you've got any suggestions of what quiz you would like for next week, do let me know. And obviously, Patreons do get priority. Um, so I will always take your feedback, your suggestion first over others. So here we go then. Tonight's quiz, your first question, just set the timer to one minute, is this one. OK, how old is the universe in years? How old is the universe in years? Now, there was an extra bonus point, but I removed that part of the question. So I just need to know how old the universe is in years. And whoever's, if you're closest, I will tell you at the end. OK. How old is the universe in years? What's not right, Melanie? What's not right? You sent that before the clue.
Okay, five seconds left, guys. So if you get the answer within this time, give yourself the points. Okay, out of time. Okay, I can see some answers coming through, so that's fine. Okay, next question. How many planets are in the solar system? How many planets are in the solar system? Controversial question. <laughs> Just pop your answer that you think is the correct answer and all will be revealed at the end. How many planets are there in the solar system? Oh, it's not like that, Melanie. Trust me, it's not like that. It's because I don't get any other suggestions from anywhere else. It's only Mike that and, Mel and you, you, Melanie, that give me the suggestions. But that will all change at the end of the month, don't forget. Okay, that's the reason I'm telling, saying it now. Okay, uh, well done. Okay, if you got the answer, pop your answer down in the, in the chat or on your piece of paper. Right, your next question. Number three, what is the smallest planet in our solar system? What is the smallest planet in our solar system? Yeah, I get away with that, Melanie, because it's the last month. <laughs> I would never have said that before. Hope you understand that. Now, Melanie got a present today for her birthday, which is on, uh, which is in five days' time. Okay, 15 seconds, guys. Are you still there, Mike, or are you, are you doing it on the piece of paper? Dina, are you still there? You've all gone very quiet. Okay, three, two, one... Okay, out of time, guys. Right, let's move on. Question number four. Which entity boasts a gravitational pull so powerful even light cannot escape? What entity boasts a gravitational pull so powerful even light cannot escape? Oh, yes, and you got the extra things as well, yes. Don't forget, though, guys, our cooking Saturday won't be tomorrow. It's going to be on the 1st of October. And with the theme, it fits kind of nicely, doesn't it, with harvest and aut autumn. We'll be a little bit further into the week, e two weeks extra into the month. Well, in beginning of October, of course, but we'll do a second one at the end of October for Halloween. Okay, last 10 seconds. Okay, and out of time. Okay, your next question, number five. Which NASA space flight was the last manned moon mission? Which NASA space flight was the last manned moon, last manned moon mission? Say that. That's a mouthful, wasn't it? So you didn't get the uh, you didn't get the spider web then, Melanie. I was a bit disappointed about that. And as I say, when I went to go check, it's funny. Literally an hour before you received your parcel, the seller where I got them from decided to deactivate. So it made me think that they knew that was going to happen, and they didn't send everything out. But you, at least you received something anyway. Um, Rick's there, of course. Yeah, in the background. Hello, Rick. <laughs> Don't forget, Rick. Okay, guys. And out of time. When you call, when you what, when you can call people batty and get away with it. <laughs> yes. 
Right, next question, number six. What percentage of the solar system's mass does the sun hold? What percentage of the solar system's mass does the sun hold? I phrased that question wrong, I think. Okay, got 40 seconds left. Hmm, interesting question. Interesting when we find out the answers. So what's people's plans this weekend? What have you all got planned? Let me know in the comments. Okay, and out of time. Out of time, guys. That time is too fast, isn't it? Right, number seven. What percentage... Oh, got the same question. Didn't I knew something like this would happen. I had a feeling. <laughs> I'll have to find another question. Um, one second, guys. It's the same question. Let me just get another question for you. One second. Just one second. Here we go. When I was doing the quiz, I had a feeling that this was going to happen. Just a random question. Uh, okay, ignore this on the screen. Ooh, what shall I go for? Oh, right, just a random question. Roller skates were invented more than 200 years ago. True or false? Roller skates were invented more than 200 years ago. True or false? Just a random question. And I'm going to use in my bookmark that Melanie made just to uh, we'll come back to that question. Okay, I forgot to put the timer on, never mind. <laughs> it's not a space question, I know, but you never know, they might have roller skates on Mars one day. <laughs> Rick says they were invented on Mars a thousand years ago. <clears throat> anyway, pop your answers down. Okay, and your next question. Okay, number eight. How long does it take for the sun's rays to reach Earth? How long does it take for the sun's rays to reach Earth? That'll be an interesting one to figure out. The only question you'll remember tonight now is the roller skate one. Guaranteed. So how long does it take for the sun's rays to reach Earth? You've got 25 seconds. I love that bookmark, Melanie. I really do love that bookmark. If you would like to order a book back from Melanie, just get in touch. Okay, guys, and out of time. Out of time. Right, question number nine. You're doing great, guys. Here we go. What, who was the first person to reach space? And if you can guess the year, you get an extra bonus point. So who was the first person to reach space? And if you can give me the year, you get an extra bonus point. So 11 points up for grabs with this question. Oh, should we make it an extra 10 points? I'll give you an extra 10 points if you can get the bonus question. So worth 20 points. So 
So who was the first person to reach space? And you've got 10 seconds remaining. And out of time. That was quick, wasn't it? Right, let's move on. Question number 10. Here we go. Oh, you're joking me again. Not another same question. How has it done that? That's really weird. Ooh, I don't know why it's done that. I'm going to have to give you another question now. <laughs> Number 10. I don't know why he's done that. Really strange. Okay, number 10. What is the name of the giant Ferris wheel beside the Thames River in England? That's your question. What is the name? I know it's not a space question. What is the name of the Ferris wheel? Besides, beside the Thames River in England. Just typing this in at the same time so I don't I'll come back to it. I hope it's not done that to all of them. Let me just check. No. Uh, Really weird why it's done that I don't know why maybe because it's just been a long week my eyes weren't properly focusing <laughs> oh you got ads sorry ad sorry Melanie we had um, I had a I had all the questions but I must have missed these last two I repeated them twice for some reason so what is the name of the ferris wheel beside the Thames River in England or the River Thames in England. Right, next question. Here we go. Question number 11. Which direction does the Earth spin? Which direction does the Earth spin? <laughs> Great answers, everyone. Keep them coming. Oh, there's a nice sunset outside. I don't know if you can see it, Melanie, from uh, from your window. Really nice colours tonight. It's like a like an orange and purple and really light white blue, like a pale blue. Really nice. You can tell winter's coming, can't you? Put my light on. I even had my heating on today for the first time this this year, just to let you know everything function properly. So always check your boilers, make sure everything's working before winter. <laughs> Great answers, guys. Three seconds to go. Well done, and out of time. Right, let's move on. Number twelve. Okay, which year was the first exoplanet discovered? In which year was the first exoplanet discovered? So maybe next week we're going to test your bird knowledge. I think that's the quiz that that was the next quiz on the list, which was suggested by Melanie. So we're going to learn all about birds next week, but that won't be until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm thinking possibly, I'll probably do it on Wednesday. Okay, five seconds left. And out of time. Right, here we go. Question number 13. In which year did the Spirit and Opportunity rovers land on Mars? Which year did the Spirit and Opportunity rovers land on Mars?
Good luck. So I wonder, was it this century or last century? And your last five seconds. Well done, everybody. Right, let's move on. Next question. Two more questions left. Good luck, everyone. Number 14. When will Halley's Comet be next visible from Earth? When will Halley's Comet be next, next be visible from Earth? There was also a... Was it um, a meteor... That did you see the meteor burning up across the UK last? Was it what day was it? Monday, Tuesday. It was one day this week. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday night. I think it was. Was it? Was it across Ireland? I think it was Ireland. It's quite bright. I didn't see it, obviously, <laughs> but there were people that filmed it on the phones. And your last few seconds. Well done, guys. And we've come to our final question this evening. And then we'll go through the answers. OK, here we go. Question 15. What is an astronaut employed by the Russian Federal Space Agency called? What is an astronaut employed by the Russian Federal Space Agency called? Good luck, guys. Last 20 seconds. If you want any questions repeating, let me know, because I know some had some adverts. And I'll repeat the question. And your last ten, five seconds. Well done, guys. Out of time. Right then, so any, any questions repeating, let me know in the comments. I'll just give you, I'll give you a minute and then we'll go through the answers. So I'll just give you a minute. If you want any questions repeating, let me know. Have, a, have one last check over your answers just to check you're happy with them. And then we'll go back. We're going to go right back to question one. And go through the answers. Okay, just another 30 seconds. Grab yourself a drink. What's everyone drinking tonight? I'm drinking tea, <laughs> yeah, even at this time of night. I love a cup of tea just before I go to bed, but I'm not going to go to bed straight away, obviously, but just on an evening, especially when it's cooler weather. Okay. I think that I think we're good. I think we're good. Right. So let's go through the answers then. So question number one, I'll repeat the, the question, and then we'll give you the answer. So how old is the universe in years? The answer is 13.8 billion years. If you said 13 billion years, you can have 10 points. If you said 14 billion years, I can't give you the points. If you said 13.8, anything between 13 to 13.8 billion years, I will allow. If you didn't get that, no points. Question number two, how many planets are in the solar system? You saw the answer there. The answer is eight. Number three, what is the smallest planet in our solar system? The answer is Mercury. I think Mike said that well done. And number four, what entity boasts a gravitational pull 
so powerful even light cannot escape? The answer is a black hole. A black hole. And there we see number five. Which NASA space flight was the last manned moon mission? It was Apollo 17. 1717. Okay, number six. What percentage of the solar system's mass does the sun hold? What percentage of the solar system's mass does the sun hold? The answer is 99.8%. Okay, ignore number seven. I'll give you the answer. I'll give you the answer now to number seven. So, because I didn't have the question. Roller skates were invented more than 200 years ago. Is it true or false? The answer is... True. Roller skates were invented more than 200 years ago, so the answer is true. Number eight, how long does it take for the sun's rays to reach Earth? The answer for number eight and I've messed up there, haven't I? Eight minutes. The answer is eight minutes. Okay, number Number nine, who was the first person to reach space? If you give me the year, you get an extra 10 points. The answer was Yuri Gagarin. And the answer was 1961. Yuri Gagarin, 1961. Okay. I've definitely messed up with the answers, haven't I, here? <laughs> okay, number 10. What is the name of the Ferris wheel beside the Thames River in England? That was again another question. The answer is, I don't know why I'm looking at the answer book for this one, but just to check. The answer is the London Eye. The London Eye. Number six was tricky, says Mike. It was tricky, yeah. If you said 99 percent give yourself the points okay let me just go back to that yeah 90 99 if you said if you said 99 you can have the points okay but i can't accept 100 okay uh your next question was which direction does the earth spin which direction does the earth spin number 11 the answer was from west to east from west to east. So that would be what's that? West to east. Is that anti clockwise? I think that's anti clockwise, isn't it? So if you said anti clockwise, yes. Whichever way is at west to east, give yourself the points. Okay, and number twelve. In which year was the first exoplanet discovered? In what year was the first exoplanet discovered? The answer is... Ah, uh, that's probably why I got confused. 1995. It was called Pegasus... 51 Pegasus B, I believe. Is that right? <laughs> but it was 1995 for question 12. Okay, number 13. Which year did the Spirit and Opportunity rovers land on Mars? The answer was nine, sorry, 2004. 2004. I remember that. I do remember that. Number 14. When will Halley's Comet next be visible from Earth? The answer is 2061. And if I live that long, I will be 71 years old. Hello, Jay. Good to see you. Is anti-clockwise okay? I think it's. I think so. I think west to east is anti-clockwise. So you can, if you say anti-clockwise, yes, give yourself 10 points. Okay. And so yeah, I'll be 71 when the next time <laughs> Haley's comet passes by. 
I will think of you all, guys. I will think of you all when that happens. If I can remember. <laughs> I might be in a home. Okay, quick question. <laughs> Number 15. Okay, last question. What is an astronaut employed by the Russian Federal Space Agency called? And the answer is... A cosmonaut. A cosmonaut. So there we go, guys. Add your scores up. Let me know how many points you got. So in total, including the anagrams, 210 points. Because there was that extra 10 points bonus question. So add your scores up. Let me know how you did. It's good to see you, Jay. So don't forget, Jay, no cooking Saturday tomorrow. That will be on the 1st of October. Okay. So add your scores up. And um, hopefully you enjoyed that. If, well, next week's quiz will be on birds. So it will all be about birds. B-I-R-D-S. And we will do that next week. But it won't be on Monday. It will be on Probably Wednesday, but I'll I'll let you know before then. So Melanie got 120. Well done, Melanie. That's very good. The anagrams were a little tricky, I think. I don't. I think the quiz was okay. I think it was mediocre, but a little bit, a little bit tr challenging, I think. Mike got 140. Well done, Mike. Jay, you'll have to watch the replay back and then let me know your score. So we're just waiting for Rick. Did you did you do the quiz? Let me know your score. So that's it, guys. Thank you all for coming in, and I shall see you next on uh, on Tuesday. So hopefully I'll be on on Tuesday. I'll let you know. We'll do some wordscapes on Tuesday, and then we'll do the quiz on Wednesday. So, but I won't be on on Monday. Remember, guys. So thank you all for coming in, and I'll see you then. Don't forget, Melanie's on in an hour, just over an hour. And I'll see you there. Thank you for joining, guys. Take care. Oh, well, Melanie, go back, watch the replay, do the first part, and then add it on to your score. So see you soon, folks. Have a great evening, and have a great weekend as well. Love you all. Take care.